Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of FNIRSI brand. Their model DWS-200 is a 200 watt precision digital soldering station kit with three soldering iron tips, two helping hands, and full color display. Just wanted to show you the box that comes in nicely packed. Everything is protected with foam. We're going to open this up and put it on my table and we're going to take a look at everything. So here's everything out of the box. I assembled everything. Comes with an instruction booklet showing you the basics. Let's go over what you get here. You get this nice copper brush which sits right in here. This I'm not sure what it's for, for scraping uh, debris off the tip I would guess. This is the tip holder and there is multiple tips included. Now you notice when I remove this, there's a beep because it pulled it out of what they're calling hibernation mode so that uh, you don't have to have energy until you need it. That's why the timer, the, the, this is dropping down in temperature. This is for holding the wire here if you want. If you notice, you put that right there. And uh, it's also a way to hold the wire. I'm not sure if this is the sensor. But I believe the sensor is on here because you could hear it beep. This is a very nice holder and uh, it moves up and down really nicely, uh, which is, which is uh, great. So when you go to take this off, that's when it starts energizing it and increasing the temperature on there. This unit itself is connected to this unit with a simple little cable. It's just a one pin connection. I'm not sure what it's doing. They don't explain that. But uh, right here, these things plug right in on the side. You take a little rubber silicone piece off and you have nice working hands to hold something in place. And that's handy. It's right on here. You have the in included tips. There's two additional tips. And you could store them here or you can store them on this side. Either way, you can store them. Now the way these tips go in is you can look closely at this and see that the soldering side is right there and then this part plugs in where it has the connections and probably a thermistor in there to regulate the actual temperature to, to regulate the actual temperature. So you can store them just like that uh, and then change them when necessary. So I'm going to go over some of the specifications of this. It uh, has smart, it's a smart soldering station, the DWS 200. It's high power precision soldering station and it features a built in high power copper transformer suitable for voltage inputs of 100 to 240 volts. So the input line connection right there just plugs right in the back right there. There is a master power switch, you have to have that on. There is that connection that goes to the other unit. Then here's the barrel connector you push in, and that's where it gets the power from this transformer uh, to power and warm up this uh, unit itself. Now, it has uh, the, the power of the station is higher than 120 watts on anything on the market, which is great, and it can achieve fast heating for soldering. Temperature adjustable is ranged within 212 to 842 degrees Fahrenheit. And it seems like they got the Celsius equivalent down there. I had to learn how to get it to Fahrenheit. Support, this supports temperature value mode, temperature curve mode, temperature value and curve mode. This uh, TFD HD display provides clear view of the data. There are three sets of preset functions to store frequently used temperatures. So that's great. So if you're doing some project and you're, you're on soldering on a circuit board, and you realize what temperature works best for the type of circuit board, you could store that temperature on there. Of course, there's those sleep modes that I talked about where it uh, doesn't waste energy and it doesn't waste the tip, and that way you don't burn out the tips. And so it's a real precision soldering iron where you're going to get some really accurate uh, temperatures. And these tips are very small, as you can see. And what's nice about that is you get a lot of accuracy when you're doing uh, small prototyping and circuits. Plus, with these helping hands, you're all set. Powering on the device is simple. You turn that main switch on in the back. Then this is lit with really high-tech blue. And you hit that like that. comes up with the company logo. And then the unit turns on. 
once you have the soldering iron on it'll engage the heating of the tip then you have access to the modes you can see right there it is showing you over time and what it's doing the temperature there's another mode right there and a second mode right there so you have a choice of looking at these modes just to see what's going on on the display and once you put the probe back in it automatically detects it, detects it and it'll drop the temperature down and uh, you only have access to these modes while it's dropping the temperature down once it goes into hibernation mode you won't have access to those modes at all which is fine and it'll go into this other mode where it goes into standby where the display will have a bunch of dots on it and there'll be a countdown timer uh, that'll allow the sticks to go into the standby mode and then hitting any key or taking the probe out will bring it back to life and the whole reason why they're doing this is because they're saving your tips instead of having it constantly being heated and another thing about this which is really nice is that the tip right inside here you can move this wherever you feel comfortable and you can see it's open to the air right there so that way that's uh, allowing air to cool it slightly and the temperature is being regulated quite nicely so here I'm in the hibernation mode I want to demonstrate how quickly that, that tip comes up to heat I have a circuit board and the helping hands which are included built into this and I have a soldering uh, reel right here I'm going to remove the tip and uh, you saw how instantly that came up the temperature that's incredible now I wipe the tip and then I could always I can go right on my connections and correct whatever I have to and what's nice is the tip is being regulated so that the temperature is being consistent right on the tip uh, you wipe it each time and then it's just being regulated so that as you put a higher load on the actual tip it compensates and allows you to have the correct temperature as you increase the load within reason obviously this is a small tip so it's meant for precision soldering like I'm doing right here really really nice on the back of the unit there's that power switch I mentioned this connection that goes from here to the other device the barrel connector there is a fuse 120 volts right there and there is a type C connection for data updates and downloads which is nice so I just found in the menu our power cycled it again and I found that you can hit English so that everything is in English so that uh, it's showing you everything in words I can understand so I didn't uh, notice that and I was doing a review so that's really nice this way you get more comfortable with the temperature you can, you can also turn it to Fahrenheit also but now it's in English and I, I'm going to got to convert it to uh, uh, Fahrenheit and now I found the mode in the settings for Fahrenheit which I'm more comfortable with I'm going to demonstrate while this is running I'm going to keep this probe in this little holder right here as opposed to the auto shutoff so you can see and you could increase the temperature right there it is increments so if you want a higher temperature on that tip you can just increase it just like that or drop it down to whatever temperature you want you want to go with the minimal that you could use to melt the solder with the load that you have depending on the circuit board what you're doing but that's really easy and accurate to control the actual temperature there is a setting in the menu where you can set the temperature that it's going to stay at when it's in the idle state so you can have that higher so that it gets to higher temperature even quicker so I set it to 212 degrees Fahrenheit and now it's going to jump up to the higher temperature that I programmed into it that way you wait less time and you can keep the tip uh, pre-warmed essentially or you can drop it down as low as you want using the menu so after testing and figuring out the settings of this, what do I think about the FNIR SI brand or model DWS-200, this 200 watt precision digital soldering station with those additional tips, there's three tips, it's in English and Fahrenheit, now I can really understand what's going on. This thing is really impressive, how fast this thing 
goes up the temperature is pretty amazing. I mean, usually you sit there and you wait for a soldering iron to get up the temperature. Not with this thing. This thing is fast and accurate. As I explained, you put the load on there when you're soldering and it still maintains the temperature. Very impressed with this product. I'm going to give it a full five star rating. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to alert to new video uploads. And if you thought this review was helpful, please hit the like button. There will be an ordering link in the information section of this video review. Please use that link when you order this product to help support this channel. I hope this video review helped you with your buying decision. Thank you for watching.